Michael, thanks for the videos. We appreciate it, man. Glad the Bonito's working and uh, keep on fishing. Thanks. Alrighty, so let's get started. What I basically have here is some 110 pound single strand uh, wire leader. I've got a uh, suffix 100 pound wind on leader and we have our Bonito with the new hooks on them. These are 7982HS stainless steel 9 knots by Mustad. They're expensive, but they work really good. They're sticky. If that fish gets anywhere near it, it's going to stick it. So what we're going to do, we're going to start with about two feet of our wire. We want to make sure we have enough room to go ahead and do our twists and do our mono connection. The first thing I like to do is to go ahead and come through my Bonito just like this and give it a nice pull forward. What that does is creates a nice little point. A lot of people use their fingers to go ahead and pinch the wire. The problem is this stuff is very stiff and so what I like to do is use some pliers. So what I do is I just get some standard pliers. I come on down, get a good pinch. This is very important. As you come down, you want to go ahead and press your fingers in, creating a little 90 degree twist. You got to get a good first twist to get that helix. So we're going to go ahead and twist. See we have a nice little twist there, a helix. Now you're going to move your hands and go again. Two, three, four, five, six. Now what I'm going to do this last time is twist it so that my main wire goes straight and my tag end goes at 90 degrees. This will go ahead and set up my wrap and uh, make things easier so it's nice and straight. Now most people go ahead and do their wire wrap for their um, uh, twist on down the leader. I really don't like to do that. It makes your profile bigger. The fish can see it. They're swimming up to your bait looking at it before they hit it. So what I found that I like to do is I like to wrap my twist back over top, um, my barrel wrap back over top of my twist. So I'm going to come around, go back over, and start my twist. I'm going to come all the way up to where my twist ends, making sure everything's nice and tight. One more, make sure it's in there nice and tight. Now making a little uh, wheel, snapping off the wire is easy to do with the lighter stuff. It's very difficult to do with this heavier wire. So what I like to do is just come in here with my little handy dandy snippers, snip it off. That's going to be sharp. Come in with here. Go ahead and crush that down. Just make it a little friendlier. And now what we have is the haywire twist with a reverse barrel. Like I said, it's smaller, it locks everything down, nice and pretty. All right, for the next section, we're gonna go ahead and connect our mono leader to the wire. You don't really need a ton. Um, Wahoo, tuna, other fish, they are surgical in their hits. They know what they're doing. If you look at a lot of the Wahoo hits that have been in the videos, they're getting a hookup on the rear, the back hook. They're not all up here around the head. Fish like to hit the back. The Wahoo that hit Heiko's Bonito, um, it caught it in the middle, and then the back hook was hooking in. So you really don't need you know, all that leader, all that three or four feet of cable. It's just something more for the fish to see. So more than six inches, less than 12. I'm gonna go ahead and just look at something that might look good, about eight inches. I'm gonna go ahead and make my bend right here. Now, Get a little, a little tighter, not squeezing the end, squeezing down from the end to kind of create a, um, a little nice bend point. Now one of the main issues with the Albright is that the first thing they tell you to do is to go through the loop. And you come down, you make your wrap, you can do um, an, an Alberto knot this way. The problem is when you're making that wrap, 
that mono leader is inside the wire and it gets bent around it. And if you have a vicious strike, that wire can actually cut um, the mono and you'll end up with nothing but a little bent piece of mono right here. And this wire is an issue. You don't want wire and mono having to fight each other. So I went through a lot of different variations and I finally figured out this way. I'm gonna leave, give myself enough runway here, probably, you know, 12 inches of this liter, 100 pound mono. I'm gonna go ahead and lay it right on top. I'm not going through, I'm just laying it on top. I'm putting it parallel to it. And what I'm gonna do is come on down to the end. Like I said, it's just basically on top. I don't want it going through. I'm gonna get down to the end and I'm gonna pinch it. Now I'm basically just gonna go ahead and start wrapping 10 times all the way back to the top and then put my tag in through the top so that the mono leader is running parallel to my wire and that the tag end is the only thing going through that little loop. So the very first turn is the most important. I'm gonna come down. I'm gonna get this little piece folded over just like that. I'm gonna go ahead and get my wraps going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And the last thing I'm gonna do, see that's still sitting on top there. I'm gonna come around, make sure I go around it, go around this last piece of mono, push that down a little bit, and I'm gonna now take that through there. So I basically took it through the end. And what that's gonna do is hold it. So now that's what I have. I have my main line running parallel down along the wire, made a tight turn, having to pinch this the whole time, and then getting my wraps up, it's kind of fiddly. And then what I'm gonna go ahead and do is wet my mono, get something secure I can pull off of. I have a little handle down here, and go ahead and cinch this up. So here I have this thing ready to cinch up. I'm gonna make sure I hold on this. I have myself a nice little handle down here. I'm gonna hook my hooks into it, get some good pressure, and then I'm gonna go ahead and start to pull this up. Making sure that everything kinda of comes as it goes. As you can see, it's creating a nice little barrel wrap right there. I'm gonna get that nice and wet. Get it hooked on there. Really get some good pressure. I'm probably putting 20, 25 pounds on there. Mm. Mm. Now, if you can see that, that is a nice, clean, little barrel wrap. I'm gonna go ahead and take my handy dandy pliers. Don't cut too close. It's not gonna bother the fish. Trim that off. It's very hard to take off this tag end of the wire. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm actually gonna bend this up 45 degrees, just like that. Come in here, make sure not to damage your barrel wrap. Get a nice little clean bink. And then take my pliers, kind of bend that little tab back in. It's gonna be sharp, so be careful. So now what I have is a reverse barrel wrap haywire twist to about eight inches of leader to that nice little barrel wrap mono. Nothing to break, nothing to come undone. It's short, it's clean, the fish can't really see it, and it works really well. 
everything is finished off with a 250 pound Spro ball bearing swivel onto the wind on. These Suffix Mono wind on leaders are great. They're probably 10 to 15 bucks on Amazon. Mono's better than fluorocarbon. Fluorocarbon doesn't stretch, it'll snap. And this 100 pound mono to 110 pound wire to the Bonito with the 9 aught 7982HS stainless steel 9 aught Mustat hooks has stuck that fat blue fin and that Wahoo. Um, you will need to change out the wire though after a fish or two, but you can get this down to a minute or two twisting it up. And it's what I drag around.